Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the latest release in the Stone Stochasticity Project. This is Your Father Smelt of Elderberries. That is a fantastic name. Now some of you are probably scratching your head. What the hell is that? Uh, for the rest of you, you're laughing your ass off. So it's from a very funny and popular line in one of the Monty Python movies. So if you're a fan of Monty Python, awesome name for this beer. That's actually pretty much the number one reason I picked this up. I love Monty Python movies, uh, the Holy Grail in particular. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I had to check this one out. And of course, this is kind of in their, you know, the, the project where they're doing all these kind of different things for Stone. So they're calling this one a medieval style ale, aka basically American Strong Ale, since that's kind of a catch-all category. For this one, they are using elderberries of course, and peat smoked malt. So that's pretty cool. And at the time of recording, this is three weeks old, making it very, very fresh. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh yeah, right up front, I definitely get this kind of light, gentle, smoky quality. Definitely kind of getting this like fruity and berry note. It's kind of that generic berry kind of thing going on. I mean, obviously it's elderberry, but Definitely very, very malty. I mean, a little bit of caramel malt, some sweet kind of breadiness. You know, I do get like a hint of almost like a blueberry type of smell in there as well. Not quite blueberry, but it's more in that direction. But definitely the kind of peat smokiness, you know, very light, kind of gentle, not super, super strong. Berry, very malty, kind of sweet smelling. Let's go ahead, take our first sip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely getting that peat smoked malt right up front. Yeah. After that, definitely getting the berry notes. Again, it's kind of this generic kind of fruity berry note. Um, a little bit of that blueberry character in there for sure, but yeah, it's definitely more of just kind of a nondescript berry note. Getting a little bit more of the malt character, definitely like some sweet caramel, a little bit of like a slight kind of toffee-ish, a little bit of sweet breadiness. Definitely a very bready kind of biscuity tasting beer on the back end, and it kind of lingers with a little bit of that smoky quality and a little bit of that sweetness too. I gotta say though, for being over 10%, there's a slight warmth as it goes down, but it's actually very, very well hidden in terms of of the ABV, actually. I mean, this, is, this thing's pretty close to being dangerously drinkable. Yeah, there's, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. It is as described, though. You get the elderberry, i.e. that kind of generic fruity berry note mixed in with this kind of big peat smoked malt. And it's not really an aggressive smoke. It's more like this kind of light, gentle, kind of smoky quality. A little bit of like a woodsy smoke, more than like a meaty smoke kind of thing going on. Definitely getting the caramel. Very, very malty. A very rich beer for sure. Definitely sweet on the back end. Caramel, toffee. Very bready, very kind of biscuity. You know, there's a lot of kind of an herbal and herbaceous kind of character to it as well. It's, you know, not overly complex, but again, it's exactly what they said they were going for. It's on the medium side of full for a body. It's got a really creamy kind of palate coating mouthfeel as well. Oh, and all can't fault them because this is, you know, it's exactly as described. All the ingredients are showcased. It's just not my favorite beer from Stone. It's not really one of my favorite beers in general. So in terms of rating, I'm going with an 8.3 out of 10. Again, nothing wrong with it. Just not, a, you know, a really mind-blowing beer. But, you know, if you like these kind of big, rich, malty beers, I think this is one you definitely like. Especially if you like more of kind of the smoky beers. Again, not too aggressive in the smoke department, but enough so that I think if you like smoky beers, this is definitely going to be one that you'll enjoy. And, of course, again, like I said, I picked it up because the Monty Python reference was expecting to be blown away. And I'm not, but, you know, it's interesting. It kind of reminds me a little bit... And I can't remember which beer, but it kind of reminds me just a little bit of one of Dogfish Head's beers. 
But if I can remember, I'll put it in, like, the notations or something. Because I can't at this point. But, yeah. If you check this one out, let me know. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.